Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to make your own do-it-yourself compost bin. It's super easy to create compost for your beautiful plants and your garden and to be able to just help the environment. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. So what is composting? Well, composting is an aerobic decomposition process where organic matter is decomposing to form this nutrient-dense soil that can be used for your plants, for your garden, for your land and whatever it's amazing it's literally called black gold I didn't call it that they whoever they are they called it that but that's what it's called so yeah now this process actually happens naturally in nature like when things die or decompose they break down and go into the soil and provide nutrients for the soil and so it kind of reminds me of like that scene in Lion King when Mufasa is explaining to Simba uh, the circle of life that's pretty much what this is this, this is we're partaking in the circle of life but let me explain when we die our bodies become the grass and the antelope eat the grass and so we are all connected in the great circle of life. So compost is made up of let's say like four participants. So the first one is your green matter. And your green matter uh, consists of your food scraps, your fruit peels, vegetable scraps, uh, grass clippings, eggshells, coffee grounds, those things that you make for a wonderful breakfast. All of those things are your green matter. They are rich in nitrogen and you need this for your compost pile. Um, they're kind of the key ingredient in your compost pile to provide all that nutrients and take all that methane gas out of our atmosphere. The second participant is, uh, or arc, brown matter. And brown matter is like paper, cardboard, sawdust, um, let's see, any, any kind of paper product, any natural fibers, 100% cotton, 100% linen, 100% wool, all of these uh, items are carbon rich and you need these in your compost pile as well and carbon and nitrogen kind of working together to form this decomposition process. The third participant is, I kind of grouped them together, air and water. So like I said, composting is an aerobic process. So you need to introduce air into the process. And so air is going to be really vital and also water. And water with the fourth position that I'm going to talk about in a second, you need water. Water helps things to live and you need this decomposition process. Even though it is decomposing, it is a kind of living system and you need water to add to that system to have everything living. And that thing that is living is your fourth participant and that is microorganisms. Your best friends, man. Your best friends in this process, they're also going to help you to break down um, all of your food scraps, all of your brown stuff, green stuff, and help you to get that beautiful black gold to help with your plants. You can compost. It's super easy and I will show you. I don't know what the clap was about. All right, so what you're gonna need is one, a bin. This is one that my brother gave me that he used for college and he doesn't need it anymore. But you do need something with a lid and that's gonna be sturdy enough, preferably plastic. Next, you're gonna need a drill with a big bit and you're going to need some paper. Mine is already pre-shredded. You're also gonna need some sawdust. You can also substitute this for dry leaves if you have it. And cardboard, any kind of cardboard, natural fibers. And lastly, the key, the star, is food scraps. So let's get started. First, I'm going to take our drill and we're going to kind of drill holes into the top of the lid. Again, remember that air is important in our compost. And so that's what we're going to be doing. You do not have to be an expert. I'm pretty sure the bit isn't in the drill all the way. And I actually can't having to fix it along the way. So you don't have to be an expert to do this. It's super, super easy and literally anyone can be an environmental hero. So just drilling holes into the top of the lid. Then we're also gonna be drilling holes on the side. So in the top of the bin for aeration, in the bottom for drainage, cause we don't want our compost to be too wet. If it's too wet, then it will start to smell and that can kind of slow down the process. So we wanna add some holes in the bottom to be able to drain. So we're gonna add holes on all four sides of the bin to ensure that we have enough air and enough places for drainage. After that, after you drilled your holes, you can go ahead and put your lid on and set that to the side while we prepare the rest of our things. 
So I'm taking out my cardboard. This is paper towel rolls, toilet paper rolls, egg carton containers, and I'm just going ahead to break those up in small pieces, kind of like bite-sized pieces. Ideally, you want to break up everything into smaller pieces because it makes it easier to decompose. I did get a little lazy with the food scraps and stuff, so this is what pretty much this is here. And this is what you'll have at the end. This is some of my cardboard that I have cut up or broken up to pieces. My paper from my paper shredder. Make sure there's no plastic inside there. And then also my brother is an artisan and makes beautiful handcrafted furniture and has a lot of sawdust left over that he so graciously allows for me to compost with. And so that's what I'm going to be using here. And then of course the star is food scraps. So I have some food scraps in like this takeout box which is banana peels, coffee grounds, grapefruit rinds, uh, some eggshells that I'm gonna, I have in here and just a ton of other stuff that you can put in here. So next you're gonna take your compost bin and then you're gonna just line the bottom of it with paper. Paper's gonna take the longest to decompose. Also, it's just gonna help to keep some of that moisture inside of our compost. I'm also going to add a little bit of cardboard on this layer to kind of help with the moisture and uh, absorbency. Next, I'm going to add my food scraps. So I'm just going to take this and dump them all in the bin. Kind of create a smooth single layer of food scraps. I actually went back and got a couple of more food scraps from inside my house. Here I'm just kind of picking in and crumbling some of the eggshells. And I don't want to think of this as trash or if it's gross, but this is food. And this is our food. And we're going to be using it to essentially make more food. So yeah, so this is a shot of just all the food scraps, some cucumber that's gone bad, old food in my refrigerator that's just gone bad. Just add that into the compost bin. How we're going to introduce the microorganisms, our best friends, you can use sour cream or buttermilk or yogurt. But you want to look for something that says cultured. You're kind of looking for like the bacteria in this product and just sprinkling that in. That's going to introduce our microorganisms. Or, or you can use potting soil. This potting soil I got for a dollar at Family Dollar. It already has compost in it. So it already has microorganisms. So I had a little bit of that lying around the house. So I'm just going to add that in and shake it up. The next layer is going to be cardboard. I'm just adding the rest of my cardboard in here. And after I've done that, I'm going to take a little bit of water. Remember, water is important for this process. And just sprinkling a little bit inside. You don't need too much water. The last layer is going to be our sawdust. So I'm just going to take my little pail of it and dump it fairly evenly, as evenly as possible, in my compost bin. And making sure that I'm covering all the food scraps because you don't want any food scraps to be showing because that's how you can attract flies and other different kinds of like vermin. So now I'm going back because the sawdust I get from my brother isn't necessarily like organized. So I'm just taking out big blocks of wood and tearing up receipts or things that aren't going to decompose like gloves or metal. I'm just taking those out of the compost bin. And after you've done that, this is the finished product. You put the lid on and you're gonna just let that sit. Uh, it takes about a month or so for things to start breaking out depending on the climate that you're in. It's pretty hot here in Georgia, so it's decomposing pretty fast. But this is pretty much it. You wanna make sure everything is covered and good to go. So I'm gonna set this down in its new home. For reference, this is my compost bin that I've been working on all summer. And you can still see some paper shredded, like shredded paper scraps in there. But pretty much you can tell when your compost is done is when you can't tell the difference between what is sawdust, between what's food, what's paper, and you have that beautiful black gold. And this is just an old trash can that I had lying around. So you can literally use anything to make your compost bin. So this is our new compost bin. I'm going to take it and put it right next to my old one in its new home. So cute! So yes, and that's how you make your compost to use for your plant. So this is my tomato plant, and I use uh, compost in it, and he is growing lovely, lovely, lovely. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe for more videos and tutorials. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!